Hey guys, it's Irish again. In the last video, I believe I told you guys like some of my quote-unquote tips for moving over to window managers, but many of you pointed out that yeah, it was rambly and I didn't really tell you like applications uh like the one of the better applications to run uh if you're going to go from a desktop environment to a window manager. So I thought I would t show you guys what I use and some other suggestions that you guys can use. So I'm going to break this in a couple categories. First one we'll start with the uh, web browser. So I use two web browsers really. I Again, I use Firefox so I can get on Google Plus and do some banking stuff. And the other one I use Cute Browser which I did a video on. Um, when I, I I use Cute Browser more often than I use Firefox, um, and it is definitely less resource hungry than Firefox and Chrome is. That is for sure. Um, even with uh, watching videos and stuff like that, it doesn't use as much memory as you know the bigger web browsers are. So I suggest uh, probably doing like LuaKit. Uh, which I think LuaKit actually may have some security flaws, but uh, that's unconfirmed though. Or Cute Browser. But if you really want to get into like terminal ones, then I would probably use like eLinks, Links, um, and there's one definitely uh, that a lot of people use called W3M. Um, so let me uh, install that really fast just to show you what it looks like. Um, so if you just do a, if you're on Arch, you just do Pac-Man W3M, and then just put in your password. Uh, it will pull into the Git, uh, the Git Hub version. So, so say I wanted to go onto Google, so you just say W3M, and then you just type in the pathway, and then as you can see, I'm in Google. Uh, so this is less uh, resource hungry than Cube Browser just because it uses a you know the terminal uh, as your web browser so you can live in this uh, you can get it to show the Google uh, homepage logo and pictures you just have to do some tweaking to it and I think it's a another you just have to add another package to get it to go. So that's uh, a few applications that you can use for your web browsing. Um, second one would be file browsing. Um, I do use Thunar. Um, so again, with any of these, you can use the GUI equivalents. But if you're moving over to Window Manager, you probably want to become a little bit more, uh, have your better workflow. So I still use Thunar for certain things, but uh, there is one that a lot of people use called Ranger, uh, and it looks like this. So it's an Ncurses um, web browser, sorry, file manager that uses the Vim controls. So if we go down with the J, K, and then you can go over and back. Um, so you can do a find, uh, say WMII. <laughs> And it will go right to it. So it's it's pretty uh, a pretty good uh, equivalent to like a Thunar or a, what is it a Dolphin or Nemo or any of the other GUI ones. But again, you can use um, just a straight up terminal if you want. Uh, there are others like uh, Midnight Commander, uh, which is very similar to this. Uh, I believe I did a versus I guess or a com compare and contrast uh, on Midnight Commander and Ranger uh, in one of my older videos so personally I use Ranger just because it's colorful it actually uses my terminal colors so I don't really have to do much tweaking with it and it uses Vim uh, which uh, a lot of people use Vim and a lot of people know the Vim controls so that uh, is pretty good for uh, to get rid of, uh, just to do um, 
files stuff. Um, the next one a lot of people uh, are curious about is music. So when I was on GNOME and KDE, <clears throat> excuse me, I did use Clementine, but you know, again, that's because of all the gooiness of the program. It can become more of a resource hog after time, after you keep playing your music over and over, more memory is used. So on Arch, I use what is known as MPD, which is Music Player Daemon. And then on top of that, I use a program called NCMPP, uh, CMPP, I believe, something like that. So it looks like this. Uh, there's others. Uh, on my, <clears throat> excuse me, on my Gen 2, I use something called CMUS, which is very similar uh, to another program called Mock, which I did a video on. Uh, let's see if I actually have it on here. Yeah, so here's Mock. So you can just go down to, uh, so like Irish songs, and you could one just like that and then you can play it in the background uh, unlike CMOS which you actually have to have it open uh, then there's uh, I do have a Pandora I do listen to Pandora so the GUI form would be uh, Pethos I believe it's called and then the CLI version would be excuse me Piano Bar so you just have to put in your username you have to use your username and then the password that you use and it doesn't matter if you're using uh, the paid version of it or not there are unlimited skips and there are no ads so that's very good and then I do know that there is one for Spotify but um, I use Spotify, uh, I log in with my Facebook, so I'm unable to do it through the CLI application. So I'm unable to do it through that, but there are, I think there are ways around it that I'm going to look for. Uh, and then if I do find something, I can make a video on it if you guys are curious. Uh, the other ones that a lot of people use are, uh, another category would be pictures. I don't know if they're with Ranger uh, with the hack you can show pictures um, with the W3M that I mentioned earlier but I've or I've been unable to get it to go because of my terminal which is URXVT it doesn't play well with W3M and pictures for whatever reason um, but you can do pictures through Ranger, but I use Shotwell. That's one of the very few GUIs that I actually do use. And then that pretty much covers everything. Um, you know, if you have Torrent, uh, uh, uTorrent actually comes with a CLI version that uh, another YouTuber, I can't pronounce his name, he's actually done. Uh, a video on it. It's called uh, our torrent remote, and then you can torrent your files through your uh, through your uh, terminal. Or transmission has a uh, CLI version. Uh, Wireshark, uh, some networking tools. They come with their own CLI versions. Uh, up here, which would be network manager, that's the applet. Uh, but if I open it up, there is actually a C or a N curses, which you can see right here. And then you can say edit a, and then I can edit this or let's see if I can go back, or I can activate another one. So I can activate uh, one of my neighbors if I wanted to, if I had the thing. So I don't really need to have this but I use it just because I don't have to type in a certain password when I go to my uh, parents house because they have a super long Wi-Fi password so uh, that's the only reason why I still have the applet involved Dropbox on Arch 
there is a system D where you can have system D start it with your user but again I like to see that it's been connected and if I'm transferring stuff to my Windows machine which is downstairs I can see it happening and I know when it's done because you know with certain processes you just don't know if it's done or not so but those are you know some of the uh, some of the applications that I use if you guys have any of your own that you would like to you know share uh, please put them down in the comments below and sorry about the last video being so rambly and hopefully this one wasn't hopefully I structured it a little bit better um, but uh, yeah I think on uh, Saturday I'm gonna be doing another Linux LDC now and we're going to be talking about switching to Linux. So that's what we're going to do. If you guys want to stop by the LDC Mumble room, either want to join in with the discussion or just want to listen, um, we'll probably be doing it around uh, 11 o'clock, 11.30 Central Time. So hopefully I could see you guys there if you're interested. Uh, again, if you guys have any advice that we would want to show to share uh, please put them down in the comments below uh, just so that we can cover every aspect of moving from either Mac or Windows to Linux so that's what's been going on and I've been working on I've discovered a new uh, a new CLI app it's called task manager I'm probably gonna be doing a video on that tomorrow or Saturday or sometime this weekend so I'll show you guys another uh, window manager uh, CLI app that you guys can use on your window managers instead of having to rely on a GUI so but uh, hopefully you guys have a uh, great night and I'll talk to you later